My, in this short video, I'm just going to be talking to you about some of the basics with Cardiff Met Search. This is the search tool we use to search the library at Cardiff Met. So if you just search for it on Google, it'll come up there, Met Search, you'll be met with this home screen and a really simple search can be conducted with this search bar here. Before you do anything, what you need to do is sign in. The reason you need to sign in is that you can, if you find the book that you need or you find the journal title that you need, you can then automatically take it out and you'll have access. You need to be a member of staff or a student at the university, so you need to sign in first so you have full access to all of the titles. Okay, so really helpful information. We'll come back to that in a minute. So, for example, if I wanted to search one of my modules is ICT in primary education. Really helpful thing here is that we'll come up with some books already. So you might find from your search already, it would come up in this list here. Now, a number, one of the main things that uh, students come to personal shooters with saying that they can't find text is their searching. They come up with, as you can see here, over 100,000 results and they just don't have time to search through them all. The main thing to do here is to use the right hand side and to try and narrow down your search. So I usually do it by date and obviously you can change that up, down, obviously you don't want it from 1800, you can change that there and you can refine that. Let's come down it's gone up. <laughs> you can put in there, you can see the author. What I tend to change is sort by maybe the title and also the subject. So I tend to go to education. And as you can see, then that's brought that down. So we're going to just take a bit of tweak in there, but really look to refine down. Also to remember that a lot of research is conducted globally and it may not be, some of your search terms may not be accurate. Obviously we call it primary education in the UK. It could be called elementary, for example, in America. One resource that's really underutilized is the librarians themselves. So make sure you ask the librarians if you're ever stuck. What I tend to use a lot of is the exact, is the advanced search. So. Sorry, just going back there, it's just on the right hand side, you click on the advanced search on there. You can then break these up. So you could do ICT, you could do elementary, elementary, <laughs> add a new line, maybe do primary, schools. You can have a play around with this yourself but this will then bring it down as well. So this is the book that I was looking for, so ICT in the primary school. If you wanted to pin that, so you could save this, you could add this item to your list, which will appear on your list here. Also, you can get a link, so you could send that to yourself. Often I just send that to myself. If I'm doing a lot of searches for something, maybe I'm writing a lecture or if I'm writing a paper, I'll send the links to myself. Also, as you can see here, you can send the permalink, you can get the QR code, you can just access, as you see here, so you can get access to the journal, article or the book, this is the book in this case. Be careful with this one, this is the draft citation, so it will give you a draft citation, but be really, really careful, these are drafts, make sure you check or cite them right, that they're accurate, obviously there's some errors there, obviously you could use some of this if you're using reference lists, but obviously be careful with that. Most useful is for that permalink. And then you are good to go.